All right, here we have a 2001 Tahatsu 25 horsepower two-stroke outboard that we're gonna do a prop shaft on. It's bent. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get that replaced. I don't know if you can see when I spin it. Definitely got a nice wobble to it. Took the wife and kid out the other day. Couldn't get up on plane. When it did, it was breaking loose and we had to idle at home, unfortunately. This was the old prop. Just got this boat recently. Probably should have serviced it before I took it out, but you know, it was running fine with just me on it. Took it out about four or five times. As soon as I got out there with them, started realizing that it had some problems. Okay. Just to show you, this is the fluid that I took out of the lower unit. Pretty nasty stuff. Obviously got some water in it. There's a plug up here on this side of the motor that when you take off, you can put a white zip tie or something like that down in there to check and see what your fluid looks like before you drain it. Then on the bottom one down here, this it's magnetic, so if you got any metal shavings or anything like that, big chunks, you'll see them on there. And you definitely want to start pulling things apart to get it serviced so you're not stranded. Anyway, castle nut with a cutter pin that goes down through the shaft. Once you got that stuff off of there, take the washer off. Prop just slides it right off. Got a uh, thrust washer back here that comes off as well. Want to make sure that's there. Two bolts that you remove that I've already done there. This is what they look like. Those are the drain plug and fill plug. These are the two bolts here. I used a block and a mini sledge to get this off of there. What I do is just kind of work it to the side like that. Gently tap it off from there. Definitely don't want to break these ears. If you don't have a puller, something like that, this smaller motor, you can get it done like this. Bigger one, probably going to need a puller. A lot of this stuff's pretty similar. Once you pull the carrier out, you can see your reverse and drive gear down in there, drive shaft gear. You want to check those out, inspect them, make sure there's too, not too much wear or damage, things like that. What I'm going to do is take this shaft out. You can do it easily by just pushing it out like that. Obviously, you're gonna replace that seal, clean that stuff up. But we're gonna slide this out. See how your bearing looks down in there? Maybe consider replacing that. And we're gonna take this shaft down to a propeller shop in Sarasota, who's gonna straighten it out for me. Because these are about $220 brand new. As long as your threads and all that are good, your splines are still good. No reason why you can't reuse this. Probably going to have to take this off before I take it to them. Just uh, start working this ring off of there. It's kind of like a key ring. Once you get underneath it, there's a pin down in there that'll slide right out. This whole mechanism can slide out. That way you can just bring them the rod or the shaft further. Really. Once I get this straightened out, I'm gonna put everything back together. Same way that I took it apart. Make sure you got your washers in there. Slide the shaft back through. This will obviously have new seals, new O-ring. Pop it back in. Give it a twist and all that. Make sure that you uh, put it in gear, put it in reverse, make sure all that stuff's working, spin it with your hand before you fire it up. 
obviously fill it up with uh, lower unit oil, which is going to go through here. You'll use a pump to pump it in there once it starts pouring out of that hole and you want to stop. Other than that, you're good to go. You'll be back on the water in no time. You guys make sure you service your lower units. Comment if you have any questions, concerns, need help, and subscribe for future videos.